Hi guys, it's Luna and I'm here today to show you something really cute that came in the mail earlier this week. It is the lovely Song of the Grandmothers. Um, it's a 66 card oracle deck and it has a guidebook and it's very Kara Simmons, I think it is, Simons, and it's illustrated by Mari in the Sky. And if you know me, you know I love Mari. <laughs> Uh, I have all of her decks so far, and um, I was really tickled to get this one as well. Um, it comes in this cute card box with the little cutouts. Um, has gold foiling on it. It's got bright, vivid colors. Um, the inside says how to cast a spell. Dream, believe, imagine, ask, open the pathways. So that's pretty cool. Um, the bottom of the box. <clears throat> I'm outside it has a little thing in it. Uh, it has these cute little, it's almost like the Aurora Borealis in a way maybe. Little stars and it also has gold foiling and she has a little information on the back. And then there is the guidebook, which is very cute. I like the uh, cover illustration she used, the little trees and everything. And it has a couple of little, some of the features from the deck on there as well. Um, it's full colored and it's broke down into colored sections so you can find the card like this one's pink so I assume you go to the pink section and it's got numbers there so you go to number one in pink and <clears throat> yep, it's brand new so I haven't even opened it yet <laughs> and there it goes and it looks like let's see it's got some information some questions a little quote and then a message and the message is also on the card right there um so it tells you at the top which grandmother it is grandmother amethyst uh, enoughness so a little description and then the message and like i said they're color coded and they have numbers and then this, this is the back it's very vivid very pretty it's kind of like a matte feel to it it's good stock um the edges are not they're not gilded or anything but that's fine because I think she did it so that everyone could make their own because so many people like to color their edges and with this colorful deck she wanted to I think give everyone the option of making it however they wanted it which is cool because I would be interested in edging it myself whereas I would probably do something in the blues or maybe this pretty bright color here other people might choose you know the, the pinks to bring out or something like that so that's pretty cool um, so yeah, that's the guidebook. Um, it is pretty thick. It's 168 pages. There's a little bit about the um, creators. And I actually found her through um, Mari's um, page. So let's take a look at these cards real quick. And I'll just flip through them and cut out all the commentary. And please excuse the noise I'm outside today because it's just so nice. And this is such a na nature filled deck, I thought. Why not? Let's go outside. I do love the artwork, obviously, because it's Mari's. <clears throat> I like the messages on here as well. Let's see how it's a plane overhead. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear it. Hopefully not. I like this one a lot. The grandmother Brook. little crab. I showed this one to a friend of mine. He's a cancer and he loves when they put hermit crabs in the decks so I sent him a little picture of that one. I like that. It's on the guidebook. We have the moon. Grandmother pear. I like that one too. And this one. This is the one that got me to buy the deck. I saw it and I was like oh my goodness it's so cute. That little turtle. Very cool. Another bear. The bumblebee too. I like that with the flowers. It's very cute. We got some jasper. Piz Lavina and the oak. And we have the arca. Another ocean. That one's nice. Pearl. <clears throat> I have these on a rock that's not very stable. <laughs> Slants a little bit, but it's my favorite rocks. That one out, the raven, I like that one too. And the salmon, I like the colors. 
on that card. Spider. This one. Look at that, y'all. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. And then Grandmother Time. Of course. The whale. I love whales and decks. I've said that many times. I think they should be in every deck. Just why not? I like that one too, the octopus. The orange. The ostrich. I'm gonna move these because they're starting to slide. And get right back to it. The poppy. I like this too. The redwood, the, the focus. Um, Y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the turkey. The walrus. Dandelion. Desert. Earthquake. Iguana. This one too is another one of my favorites. The mushrooms. So cute. <laughs> and this happy little stingray. Such a cutie. It's got a little smile. Tornado. Volcano. So that's all of the cards. Mm. Then they come with um, this one here, which tells you what all the different colors were for. Like the pink was self-love and harmony was blue and growth was green and possibilities purple and service is yellow and destruction is brown. And here's where they ask everybody to post their pictures so they can see everything that everyone does with the deck. It also comes with this card for um, spreads. So this one's the grandmother's house spread. And it has the theme, the anchor, challenge, inspiration, and board. So that's pretty cool. And then they also put in these, these same back cards, but they are blank and they're matte. So you can actually draw them. So you can add your own grandmother's. So um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So if something means a lot to you, like for me, crepe myrtles. I love crepe myrtles. They've always been a constant in my life and I just love them so much. And I actually have my camera <laughs> hanging from one right now. So I might draw in a crate myrtle. So I, I think that was a really cute touch. Um, you don't see that too often. But yeah, look at those colors. They're so beautiful. And they're a really good size too, because like, that's my hand. <laughs> uh, but they're not so big, I can't hold them like this, you know? Um, they just feel really good in your hand. And I just love them. So yeah, uh, if you're interested in that deck, check it out. These, um, This one just came in this week. Whoop. <laughs> I got mine from Kickstarter, but I'm sure she's going to have some up on her shop. So um, anyway, yeah, it's Song of the Grandmothers by Kara Simons and illustrated by Mari in the Sky. Anyway, take care, guys, and until next time. Bye.